Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this special meeting of the Waterbury Board of Education. Uh, we'll begin this evening with a silent prayer. Commissioner Hernandez, would you lead us in the pledge, please? Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation. to convene into executive session for discussion concerning the appointment employment performance evaluation held or dismissal of a public officer or employee. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ladies and gentlemen, with the approval, well, let me let me read the title of it first. The appointment of the talent and professional development supervisor is item 1.3. Ladies and gentlemen, with the approval of the committee on school personnel, the superintendent of schools recommends the approval of the appointment of Johanna Hayes as administrator of pupil personnel. Respectfully submitted and so moved. Second. Does she want that job? Okay, I'm doing it again. Do you want that job? Okay, with the approval. With the approval of the Committee on School Personnel, the Superintendent of Schools recommends the approval of the appointment of Johanna Hayes as the Talent and Professional Development Supervisor. Respectfully submitted and so moved. Second. Second. Discussion. Superintendent. Um, as you know, the district has been engaged in a uh, search for a new Supervisor of Talent and Professional Development for some time. And at this time, I'm very pleased to announce my appointment of uh, Mrs. Jahan Hayes to the position of Supervisor in Talent Professional Development. Mrs. Hayes holds a bachelor's degree in history, a master's degree in education. It's going to be a while, folks, so just relax. And a sixth year in educational leadership. Mrs. Hayes uh, began a career in a haven that we don't hold against her, and she quickly moved back to the Waterbury Public Schools to take a position as a social studies teacher at Kennedy High School. At Kennedy High School, Mrs. Hayes has taught ninth grade world history honors, SOAR, 10th grade roots of American citizenship, United States history, 11th grade comparative government and geography, and 12th grade African American history, for which she wrote the curriculum. Mrs. Hayes' career at Kennedy High School has been marked not only by exceptional teaching, but also by significant additional professional engagement. Mrs. Hayes has served at the Kennedy High School Governance Council Chairperson, the NEAS Committee Chairperson since 2007, and NEAS Visiting Committee Member since 2010. She has headed the SOAR Academic Program at Kennedy High School, served as the Chair of the SOAR Review Board. Mrs. Hayes has also served as Faculty Advisor for a number of student clubs, and outside the classroom, Mrs. Hayes has supported students over and over and over again in their extracurricular activities and inspired students to follow her lead and become involved in community service. John Hayes has been recognized as an extraordinary teacher here in our district as 2016 Waterbury Teacher of the Year, 
the state of Connecticut, the 2016 Connecticut Teacher of the Year, and as everyone well knows, that our national, very proud of her, as the 2016 National Teacher of the Year. Her energetic teaching style, high expectation for students, and passion for teaching are, no, are so well known. I have confidence that Johanna will carry over her commitment as a teacher to providing Waterbury students with high quality instruction and multiple levels of support to her new role as she strives to help Waterbury to recruit, hire, and train the very best teachers and school administrators. Also familiar to you is Mrs. Haynes' commitment to increasing the number of highly qualified minorities among our teaching hires. Johanna formally worked with Dr. Tucker to implement a state grant to enhance Waterbury's ability to hire more minority educators who reflect the diversity of our student population. Minority education hiring was up significantly for the school year. And as part of the Minority Hiring Grant Project, Waterbury now has future educator clubs at our high schools, which promote teaching as a career for our students. Mrs. Hayes' educational philosophy includes these essential comments. All students can learn and have a right to a highly quality education that is specific to their needs and provides a unique purposeful experience. Outstanding teachers inspire and motivate students to want to learn. And promoting academic success in the classroom and developing a mutual respect among students is so highly much needed for their connection. Mrs. Hayes has proven herself to be a collaborative and insightful partner with our Waterbury educators. She genuinely believes that the complexity of our work demands tapping into the knowledge and experience of the collective rather than relying upon those of only one person in charge. She has embraced the district's strategic improvement plans at the school level, and I will rely on Mrs. Hayes going forward to continue to demonstrate not only her innovation and in independent thinking, but also her dedication to our organizational goals to guide the district to ever improving student outcomes through her new office. When asked about her success as an urban educator in the past, Johanna has always credited her life experience as a Waterburyan and for, former Waterbury public school student. She speaks of being able to readily relate to her Waterbury students, having been an urban student herself. She often tells of the way Waterbury public school staff will support it and encourage her to do well in school, to continue to college notwithstanding significant challenges, and to become the teacher she wanted to be. These life experiences forward forever near and dear to Johanna position her well to be, to bring unique perspective to her new responsibilities as supervisor of talent and professional development. For all these reasons, and certainly more, I am delighted to present to you, the Board of Education and the public, the new Waterbury Supervisor of Talent and Professional Development, Mrs. Johanna Hayes. For the record, we still got a vote. Thank you, uh, President, through you. Um, Johanna, welcome back. Uh, we missed you. Um, I gotta tell you, I, I thank you so much, not only to you, but to your family, your husband, your children, and sacrificing their time with what you went through, this incredible journey. And I can tell you, I followed you on social media, and I lived vicariously through you. I mean, you brought a bundle of joy to this city for all the interactions and everything you've done throughout this past year. And so uh, we are deeply indebted to you and truly appreciate how you represented us as a district. And so um, with that, thank you so much. I just wanted to express that gratitude because you carried yourself with such high class and dignity and we saw that. Thank you. Commissioner Vianstone. Thank you, Madam President. Um, when we had this come before us, I looked at the credentials and I was like, gee, I don't know. What has she done? <laughs> then I realized I've been to quite a few nice banquets because of you, so thank you. It's been very nice. Eat well. Um, I've told you long ago, first time you presented before this board when I was on it, I was impressed from day one. You came before us, you talked about helping your students and encouraging them to become teachers. You made a point to say all students. The, the, the grant and all was particular and all, but you were committed to all your students. And I'll never forget that from day one. 
and now I think I've gotten to know you a little bit better, and it, it's amazing. You're, you're Waterbury's daughter, and you've made us very proud. Thank you very much. Thank you. Commissioner Sweeney. Johanna, I'm really sorry I tried, but there are no free dresses with this job. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to say to you, thank you for choosing Waterbury again. Um, we are so grateful to you, and all I can say is congratulations. Welcome back. Commissioner Van Stump. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, Ms. Hayes, uh, when people reach a certain level in their given profession, you know, very few ever get the chance to, to, as they say, write their own ticket. And you are one of those people. You could have gone anywhere you wanted in the world, quite literally, for probably sums of money that we can't pay yet. But you didn't. And that says just as much about you as any of your past history. You know where you're from and you know what you want to make better. And we thank you. Thank you. And I, on a personal note, Johanna, we're thrilled to have you back in the district. And I really look around this room and see the support from your colleagues. And you've always said this is a team effort. It's a collaboration. That only when we all work together are we really going to make a difference for our students. And I want to thank uh, your colleagues and the public for coming out tonight to show support for Johanna because I think it's a new day in Waterbury. We're going to move forward and really make, continue to make Waterbury uh, the best school district in the state. So thank you very much. Uh, Commissioner Thurio. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Hayes, I know this is in, in your family. Uh, this was a, a real effort, a team effort, uh, traveling all around the country and all around the world. Uh, had to be hectic but enlightening but more so enlightening to our students, our students that are struggling, our students that are struggling, coming up the hard way, which you did. And you rose to the top of the mountain, the pinnacle of the mountain, by your struggle, your efforts, and your leadership, and your example. So I thank you, and pass it on. Pass it forward. Thank you. All in favor? A roll call vote. Commissioner Harvey? Yes. Commissioner Fernandez? Yes. Commissioner Pagano? Yes. Vice President Rodriguez? Yes. Commissioner Stango? Yes. Commissioner Sweeney? Yes. Commissioner Thurio? Yes. Commissioner Jason Van Stone? Absolutely. Commissioner Tom Van Stone? Yes. President Brown? Yes. to get a unanimous vote on anything. Not around Especially these parts. Here. Not around <laughs> these parts. So I thank you for that. Um, Commissioner Van Stone, you're right. I've gotten so many offers to leave this city. So many offers to do so many incredible things. But what I don't think people understand is that I have a different level of investment in this community. This community raised me. You know, you say I am Waterbury's daughter. I see myself in every one of these kids, and I know the potential that they have, and I know how hard it is sometimes to realize that potential when nobody reminds you of it. So this is the only place I want it to be. So thank you for recognizing that. You know, I hear you all saying, welcome back. I wasn't sure I left. I thought I was always employed by the district. I was like, did something happen? But I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand what it feels like to be a student in this, in this district and have all these dreams and all these ideas and not really know what it looks like or how to get there and not have anybody guiding you in that direction. So I, I need to be here. And there are so many other teachers just like me who are doing the same thing, you know, who are invested in our kids. And part of what I want to do is to help, you know, elevate those teachers as well. You know, really celebrate the talent that we have here so that it's more attractive to new talent. You know, there's so many good things that are already happening here. And sometimes you have to leave the district in order to realize it. You know, and I know you all don't have the luxury of leaving and seeing what other people are doing and traveling. 
but we've got some great people here and some great ideas and probably the best kids. You know, the best part about this year was returning to Kennedy and my students for the first time, you know, imagining themselves, living in their imagination, you know, attempting to do things that they were afraid to do a year ago, you know, and, and I think that we, we have to move forward to a place where we make decisions that are best for kids. You know, it, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to, the, 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 and, and frustrating to go back and forth over all of these minute details when at the end of the day, every single person in this room, at this table, around wants the same things, and that's improving outcomes for kids. You know, so we just have to figure out a way to frame that conversation and work together. And I am completely on board to do that. You know, thank you. I guess I'm glad to be back, even though I no, didn't go anywhere. There's, oh, this is my home. My whole family is here. You know, the people that I know, the people that I grew up with. And too often, we've had amazing things happen in the district. And as people leave, those things leave. You know, and I, I just think that. We have to really work together and let kids see that we are here to support your dreams and to help you succeed, you know, and we believe in you as much, more than you believe in yourself, you know, because it's possible. So, um, I got, that's it. I don't know. Great, okay, thank you. I'm, All right. I, I'm sad to leave the, the classroom. <laughs> I struggle with that, but it, it's just a different type of classroom, you know, like a different type of teaching experience, I guess. <laughs> That's not an easy thing to do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, now I need a motion to adjourn this special meeting. Motion to adjourn? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.